Hi, Madeline here from Sonic Bloom with a new episode of the Abon Live Quick Tips. This time I want to show you a nice little feature that was added in Live 12 called the Step Input Mode. It is intended to be used for the MIDI step recording, which I will also explain at the end if you're not aware of it. But you can use it also to quickly get everything ready for recording MIDI. So how does it work? You can use a shortcut or you can also go through the menu. Under Options, you can find the Step Input Mode here. So I'm going to use the shortcut. For Windows, it's Control Shift and B, and for Mac, Command Shift and B. And then what happens is you can see automatically the track has been armed, the computer MIDI keyboard has been turned on, and the MIDI clip that has to be existing and that needs to be already basically selected for it to work will be open and ready to be recorded in. Or you can alternatively also just add MIDI notes by clicking. So I'm going to undo all of this again so we can see that it's really working. So the clip is selected, but I'm going to focus back to the device view and just do the shortcut again and you see it works. And so now for the MIDI step recording, all you have to do is basically is you have to position where you want to start. So I could start here as well or wherever. So you just click where you want to start. Then you hold down the notes that works on the computer MIDI keyboard or also any MIDI controller that you have connected. And then you use the right arrow key to create the MIDI notes that you held down. So if I wanted to have a gap, I could just use the right arrow key again. I'm going to hold the same notes. And you can see if you hold the notes and you repeatedly press the right arrow key, you can make them longer as well. And so I could hold another chord. And you can see when I press the left arrow key that the note length is shortened again. So this way you can quickly add MIDI notes without having to play anything. Yeah, that's it already. I hope you found this useful. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Until then, bye.